This is USA Olympian Janai Kerr, bringing you more tips to the goalie position. This is your cap seven tip of the week. Once you find your base aviator position, it's really important that you track the ball at each position without losing your balance. One common error I see athletes do is pull their water deep underwater to get across the cage, leaving them exposed for a quick shot. Their hand is deep past the midline. One drill that I really like is to force your hand to stay shallow by keeping your thumb out of the water. As I slide, keep my thumb out of the water, pull back to 90 degrees and set. Thumb out of the water, 90 degrees and set. Okay, so when you do it live time in a game, you won't be keeping your thumb out of the water, but your hands will always be shallow. As I slide, boom, 90 and set. Okay, and set. Once I'm in the goal, you'll notice that I really don't have that far to, to slide. So I'm here, slide, set. Slide, set. But what's important is that this hand is not really coming past my shoulder. As I pull in, it's stopping here, so I'm back to my base position instantly. My body is going from a diagonal position, okay, I'm using my core strength and my obliques to pull myself vertical instantly, my collarbone drive. So regardless of where the ball is going, I'm just going to shoot one, two, three, four, or five, I'm always set. It gets tricky when the ball is skip positions. So the ball is going from five to one, it's a lot farther slide, but I have more time to react. So I'm going from here, this hand is not going here, it's going to point to the opposite corner as I slide, and then this hand whoops around, and I'm instantly set. Same position, 90 degrees. 90 degrees, set. So live time would look like this. I'm ready for a shot every single time. Once I'm in position, again, it's simply a block here, here, or here. Forcing the shooter to lob or throw the ball over the cage. <laughs>